Hi and welcome to this tutorial about Simitrans. Today's topics is road transport and basic strategy. We have two types of basic money in the game. Cash money, which you have down here. On your bank account and investment trains trucks and so on you buy investment and hopefully the investment bring cash money back to your bank account this game are based around the concept of passive income The last thing you want in this game is a chaotic process. So I normally work after this principle. You start the game and if you have stopped the game in a good position, you are in the decision mode. From decision you go to construction and from construction into trim phase and if you have come back to decision it's normally a good place to save the game or leave the game and so on or take a new trip around the free state in the decision phase you decide what to do next and plan for it. In the construction phase you build the basic infrastructure, road, tracks and so on. In the trim phase you send out trains and trucks and trim in your supply chain. And after the trim phase the supply chain is finished and you're back in the decision phase. And now you can decide what to do next. In each of these three step, you can bankrupt the company. If you made the wrong decision in the decision phase, you can bankrupt the company. If you not are in a stable situation in the decision phase, the company can go bankrupt. If you build too much in the construction phase, you can bankrupt your company. If you buy too many trains or trucks in the trim phase, you can bankrupt the company. So the goal here is to traverse all three step and end up in a stable situation where the company generated profit. Let us now take a closer look what to do in the decision phase. What are a good decision? There is not a simple yes or no to that question. So let us start by taking a look on which information you need. The map, of course. And in the beginning you normally want to transport something lucrative. So factory list is what you need on the map. Up here there is a cargo list. These lists are sometimes unsorted, but we will sort it after revenue. And we are only interested 
in cargo which are actually available. Printing ink, we need a printing press, but there is no such factory on the map. Gasoline, we have a gas station here, but the refinery are pretty awkward here on the other side of this lake. That will be expensive to build. Medical is a complicated supply chain and are not suitable in this state of the game. We don't have any income at all. So we need to be careful with the money we have. Chemic is also a complicated supply chain. All transport can be complicated. It depends on where we transport. We don't have any single step or supply chain because there is no power plant using oil. But coal, from a coal mine to a coal power plant, we have four, one, two, three, and four, is a good starting supply chain. This distance are suitable for train, but the distance between this mine and that power plant are suitable for trucks. So a good starting position is here to build our first supply chain around this power plant and that mine. Before we start construction, we take a look on the economy. This company have no income and no expenditure. We are in a stable situation. Let us now take a look on the construction phase. In the cargo list, we can see which speed our customer expect on the cargo. For road, it is 50 km per hour. That limit our option on which type of vehicle we could buy and which type of road we should build. One other thing I like to take a look at is plan for the future. We have the coal mine here and we have our four power plant. Here we transport by truck, here by train and here by train too. To this power plant we maybe have train transport around the lake or train transport down to a harbor, boat, and maybe train after that, or something else. We maybe build a channel instead. But that are a later decision. So around the mine, we will probably have a train station. That will affect how we place the station for the trucks. The truck for the railroad will probably be placed here. So the station for the trucks will probably be placed here. And we could place the receiving station somewhere here. Let us now take a look 
on the road vehicle tool. We have different types of road, bridge, one type of tunnel, demolishing tool for roads, speed limit, traffic light, no entering sign, private road, show sign, depot, bus stop, another bus stop, mailbox, and freight yard or station. If you hover over the road, you can see the type, what it costs to build, what it costs to own, and the speed. This road is too slow. This is also too slow. But this is fast enough. Building a road is simple. Shows the road, starting point, and end point. You can also drag and drop. You need a station or loading yard or freight yard or what they call it for now. They have different name for the same thing. But you need somewhere to pick up the cargo and deliver the cargo. You need the station. They call it freight yard in this version. They build the station when the time is rolling. You need one more thing. You need a garage or depot. It is here you build the car you need. That end the construction phase. That was everything I have to show you. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. In the next episode we should figure out how many vehicles we need and enter the trim phase. We also take a look on how to schedule vehicle on individual level and centralized in lines. We move on to British and when we are finished with that episode, the company will be in a stable and secure state. Thank you for your time.